got like a little paper back there. I've got a little paper back there. Um, it says keep your voice down. It's going to remind me to, to keep my voice down, keep it level, and also to do my triggers because I forget to. I was watching my video. I watch my own videos and I enjoy it. Is that weird? Is that weird? Ah, this and Namika. I like this guy. Is that, is, that, is that a bit much? I don't know. Let me write. Actually, let me write. Because I'll be talking about something and I get so invested in whatever I'm saying that I forget. So, do your... Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. some on my wall. I can try to remove one of my posters or something. Nah. Where do I put this though? I'll just... It needs to be somewhere that's visible. I guess I'll just leave it here. But then I can't see it. I'll just put it here. I'll just leave it here. And yeah. Anyway. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. <laughs> Hope you're crazy. Hope you're gravy. I like this bottle. I like the sound of it. subs do you some more video would like to have some of my subs send me some videos um, and once I get around 10 videos I'll put together a video and uh, upload it when I have 10,000 subs I only have two submissions still what's going on guys if, if people don't submit I'm gonna think people don't love me I'm gonna be like I've got all these subscribers but they don't fuck with me because only two of them submitted, so I, they must hate me. They must not like me. That's the assumption I'm going to make. Uh, it would be very nice if at least 10 of you submit. So I've got two so far. Uh, if you can send me a video one minute in length of you just doing some triggers, I'd really appreciate it. I've only got two. I need more than that. I can't, I can't do the video with just two. So... Um, Send them too. I've done this before. I've done this before. Twice. So where y'all at? Where y'all at? I'll post it on my community tab just as a reminder. So people.
can you keep your voice? I also have the volume up a lot as well for most of the videos, so that might have contributed to that perception. I didn't realize my volume was very high on my headphones. So that might have affected things. I like it when anybody has some artists. Yesterday I watched a video from this girl, uh, Emma's MySpace, you know the channel? And she was speaking at a pretty... Particularly enjoy that thing. Like, I need some artist speaking at a normal volume. That's just my thing. But there's a balance, of course. I also wrote a poetry book. It's one dollar. It's a dollar series of love poems. Link is in the description if you're curious. I believe I did good work okay. it's 40 pounds, and you can read a preview if you want a preview, uh, Amazon lets you read a preview before you purchase, so you can just check it out and see if it's for you, it's one dollar, and if you do purchase it, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a rating, give me five stars people, it really helps, it goes a long way, I'm trying to reach a hundred sales, I'm trying to reach a hundred sales, I'm trying to reach It'd be amazing if I can get to number one on the poetry. <laughs> That'd be amazing. That's like a super goal. But like, if I could do that, every time people see the book, it, Amazon will tell them this was a number one bestseller in the category of poetry or something like that. There's different rankings of poetry as well. There's different poetry categories, it seems like. So I'm in three of them right now. There's an overall poetry, poetry category, but there's, there's, like, there's like two other ones as well. I can reach number one for all three of those. But yeah, that's like a... Like I said, that's like a... But if I can get them to so I can mobilize the people that watch these videos, I can be like, can you please go support that, get that to, to number one? I think you can do it. But yeah, just have to be patient and um, keep pushing. it takes I don't mind where's my other nail brush because I had like nail brushes this is a good trigger rummaging Still didn't find the uh, still didn't find the no gosh, I'll just use my toothbrush. Got this extra toothbrush just in here. My tail is a mess. And if, if someone saw this over here, this guy's life is a mess. Why does he have all these toilet rolls just sitting here? Like they don't understand what I do. 
for now, this is literally all I do for a living. It's like, is this, which is, yeah, <laughs> interesting. The average person might not get it. I'm trying to practice discipline with regards to not spending my money on food. I had to withdraw from my uh, my music account. I get paid like cents for my music, right? I don't get that many streams for my music. So over the past few months, I've maybe made like uh, fourteen dollars. I made fourteen dollars. Wait a second. Now that I think about it. Because they always take tax. Like a withholding fee. If I give them my tax number, I think they'll... Because I did that with um, with YouTube. Because YouTube used to take 30% of whatever I get. Which is... Oh my god. It was painful, dude. It was, it, was a, it was a lot of money that they were taking from me. This withholding fee. But then I put in my tax number and they stopped... Because South Africa and... Um, the U.S. have a tax treaty. If you give them your tax number, you don't have to pay that withholding fee, that tax withholding fee. So maybe if I do that with my uh, my DistroKid account, DistroKid is the the distributor I use, and they pay me my, my my money for my music. If I do that, then maybe they'll stop taking shaving money off of my uh, withdrawals because that's what they they do. But it might not be. I think it's transaction fees. I don't think it's tax withholding I think it's like a transaction fee it might be tax withholding though we'll see but yeah I had like $14 that I withdrew um, so maybe from that 14 I might get 10 or 11 I'll see how many dollars they subtract and then they'll send it to my I'll put it in my PayPal accounts and then I can order food on my PayPal because I don't want to dig into my um, the money I get from YouTube because I'm I'm trying to be more disciplined not spend that money if I had been saving all my checks that I get from YouTube I would have oh my god I'd, I'd have a lot of money right now but I spend it all on like going out getting myself food yada 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 now it's like this. This uh, past, well, I got paid what May, oh, April twenty third was when I got paid last. Yeah, I've, 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 I haven't really used that much of that money. You know, I've gone out here and there with it, but I haven't bought food with it or anything like that. Well, when I was watching a movie, I did. Um, I don't know if I said this in one of the previous videos, but I don't get like snacks anymore for my I think I did talk about this this sounds familiar now I get like food like I go to the supermarket and I get like a, a wrap I, I don't get like chips and sweets and stuff like that now I get like I go to the the fridge and I get like a sand or a wrap it's not a sandwich it's a wrap uh, so this past weekend I watched what did I watch the ape movie I forgot what it's called, The Apes, and I got a wrap, it wasn't that good, the one I had before was good, the other week I had one, it was, uh, it had bacon and other stuff, that one was nice, this one, not so nice, it had like, crumb chicken and coleslaw and other stuff and spicy rice or something, it was not, it didn't taste that much, it didn't have any much flavor, I was like, this was a waste of money, and then I also had like this this uh chicken and couscous thing with like yogurt they put like plain yogurt at the bottom or something like that that didn't taste like much either so not the best and then i had like a packet of bacon bits i like dried bacon bits and stuff that yeah everything i bought was trash <laughs> so i wasted money but it, it still it still felt better than buying like chips and sweets and stuff like 
did in terms of my body and how my body feels after I consume. It felt like food. It felt like I was eating food, real food, real meat, real ingredients. Like my, I didn't feel like you know congested or like or weird or bloated or anything like that. I just felt like I ate meat. So that's what I was eating during the movie. Um, but yeah. Uh, but I have, I set aside, I made a budget, right, of like, okay, this is the money I'm going to have to spend. So this is the money, this is my spending money, and then this is the money I'm saving for, um, for use. I was, just, I was just doing the maths about how much I have left. Anyway, so so I have money that I've put aside for like, okay, this is what you get to spend on yourself. So I've been digging into that that fund, or like spending money, and I'm like, you need to slow down because I can see where this is going. They still like how much? Like I'm, I'm this is the beginning of the month. I get paid on the twenty third. I get paid on the twenty third. So. There's still, there's still a lot of time from there. Oh my god! And there's things I'm gonna be doing, the place I'm gonna be going. I need to, yeah, I need to be disciplined and tell people I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything that requires me to spend any money. This Friday I'm going, so, but yeah, there's no reason for me to spend money. Friday and Saturday, I shall go somewhere. There's no reason for me to spend any money on those two days because it's anyway. I need to be disciplined, dude. Because I need to buy a phone. On the 23rd, I'm buying a phone for sure. enough money to get a phone case and a screen guard hmm. I don't know this morning I skipped my I skimped out on my work I didn't skip it but I I, I didn't do as much as I usually do um, so I, I did my like little dumbbell curls <laughs> And then I did push-ups, and then I just took a shower, came out, started recording this. So I'm gonna have to do. I did 25 push-ups, so I'm gonna do 75 throughout the rest of the day. So I'll do 25, 25, 25, just to make up for what I missed out on in the morning. You know, I'm at home all the time. I rarely go out. And you have to stay active, you know, if you want to keep your body in shape. I got a nice body. I, it's not like a model body or anything, but you know, I got muscles. I got a nice little chest. Um, but it's not something to <laughs> to parade or anything. But I, I like it. I'd like to have a bigger, stronger body, but it, it comes at a price, of course. You know, a lot of guys will have a fit body, like, really nice really muscular but for a season so some guys like only look good in the summer well here in south africa it's pretty much we have winter but you know this past year or so we've had great weather a lot of sun anyway you, you have guys that will, will look good for occasions like that the sun's out sun's out comes out as they say but then you know in the winter they they, they let themselves go whatever the case may be but a lot of guys when they get married and have kids, they, they develop they develop the dad bod. So for me, it's like I'm trying to be consistent. Like I want to keep, at the very least, keep this current body for my, the rest of my life. So whatever like goal I set, whatever body I want to have, remember do your triggers. <laughs> when I get when, I, when my mind starts worrying and I start thinking about the topic, I forget to do the triggers. I'm gonna keep this right here. 
It's right here. Let me show you. Do your triggers. Do your triggers. I get distracted and I start talking and I forget to do the triggers. Anyway, whatever goal I set for like the body I want, I must remember that that comes at a price. So if you think about you're working out, your exercise is like money. That's what you give for like the body you want. So it's like, am I willing to maintain that level of exercise consistently to to uh, to keep that body? So you have to be. I don't. I don't. I don't like uh, overburdening myself or committing to a, a, an overly strenuous. Uh, exercise regimen because you get the body and then after a while you get tired and you just let yourself go and you lose all that all those gains and you're back to you know the shape you're in before i, I don't want to do that so it's like okay the body I'm, i have right now it's slim i'm like 65 kilograms maybe 66 mm, around 65 i got muscles it's nothing crazy. I'm okay. I'm in shape. And what I'm contributing right now to maintaining that, I'm willing to continue to contribute that. It's not too crazy. I can do it. So if I'm going to add on to that, obviously there are benefits. You get bigger, you get more muscular, you, you look better, but you have to maintain it. And you have to maintain it for the foreseeable future. When you're 30, when you're 40, when you're 50, when you're 60, you have to maintain it. In fact, it gets harder as you get older. So I always keep that in mind. Be realistic and uh, don't over commit yourself. Don't overstretch. So uh, I'm thinking what I can add to my current workout routine. Because I have a very basic workout routine. I wake up in the morning. Dumbbell, dumbbell curls, 25 push-ups, dumbbell press-ups on the floor, and then 30 squats. That's it, literally, that's it. That's all I do in the morning. It's nothing crazy, but it gets the muscles warm. It does enough to keep you strong, and you can see the shape, the, the, the pecs. It's enough for me. But I'd like to add to that. So I thought what I could add to that is 25 push-ups. Like three sets of 25 push-ups, but throughout the day. So once I do that in the morning, maybe around 11, 12-ish, I do 25 push-ups. Maybe around 5-ish, I do 25 push-ups. Then around 8-ish, I do 25 push-ups. They say you shouldn't exercise right before you go to bed, otherwise you're going to stay awake. So I'll try not to do it just as I'm going to sleep. I'll try to do it maybe a, an hour or two before I sleep. So yeah, that way you're doing 100 push-ups in total throughout the day, plus the dumbbell curls, plus the press-ups, plus the squats. I think you can get a good body out of that. Nothing crazy that's going to be like, oh my god, oh my god, you're the best body in the world. But you know, it's something you can be proud of. You can take your shirt off and feel good. And be strong. Hmm, 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 hmm. So that's my goal. in school used to tell us went to a boys school used to tell us all the time if you just do push-ups throughout the day you don't even have to do much else like literally if you just do push-ups but you like space them out throughout the day if you just do that you'll be good you'll be strong you'll be fit if you just do push-ups push -ups, work out the entire body it's a great exercise and you're usually like pushing up your own body weight most people can't do proper push-ups i've noticed Most people can't do proper push-ups. When I do push-ups, my chin, first of all, my my my, my hands are never inwards, they're always outwards. So that so when you're inwards, when the inwards, you, your, your arms bend out like this. 
that's not great. So in the, on the upwards, you see your arms don't bend out. It's more like uh, at that right, at that 90 degree angle. As opposed to doing this, going outwards. So you see the difference on the outwards? They're like little chicken wings. No, wait. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> when they're inwards, they're like, they're like little chicken wings. But when, when they're outwards, it's more straight. At that right angle. So I do that, I, I I make sure my back is straight, that my, my dick isn't touching, like you know, you know, like raping the floor. And uh, my chin always touches the floor. I always make sure my chin touches the floor. If my chin doesn't touch the floor, I do it again. I don't count that one. So if it's like one, two, three, and then on four, I miss the floor, I do four again. I do four again and make sure my chin touches the floor. Cause that is like a proper, proper push up. <laughs> what, I think I was in high school when I found out that girls do their own push ups. I didn't know there's girl push ups. Like girls don't do like the proper ones. They, they, they go on their knees. <laughs> and they, I was like, what? That's crazy. But yeah. Some girls do the real ones. When I see a girl do a real push-up, I'm, I'm impressed. Some girls do the real ones, like the real push-ups. But yeah, very few people I've seen. I've seen like when people do push-ups, it's usually like some some nonsense where <laughs> like the whole posture is wrong and they're not going all the way down. And when you do it like that, you can probably do a hundred or something. How many could I do? For Maybe I'll do like fifty. I can do thirty strong proper push-ups maybe 35 if I get my muscles warm so if I do the dumbbell curls first get the muscles warm I can do 35 I thought that doing the dumbbell curls first prevents me from doing the most push-ups I can do I thought that okay if I if I did push-ups first I'd be able to do like 40 push-ups or something or rather if someone challenged me to a push-up, I used to think if, if someone challenged me to a push-up contest, like, uh, let's see how many push-ups I do, I thought, okay, maybe I can do, like, 40. Because when I'm doing it in the morning, I do, like, 25. And I thought that's just because I, uh, well, I, I do limit myself. I don't, I don't do the maximum. Just because you, there's still other stuff I have to do. So I always, I, I said it at 25, I can, I can do 30, but I always said it at 25. But I thought if I, if I don't do dumbbell curls, I can probably do 30, 35, 40 or something like that. But I realized, because I, I uh, the other day I just tried to do push-ups by themselves without doing dumbbell curls first. I got tired a lot quicker. I got tired a lot quicker. I was like, why is that? Why, why is it getting harder to do 25? Even though I didn't do dumbbell curls, like I'm just getting into this. This is my first exercise. I didn't do anything else. I realized, oh, because you, your muscles aren't warm. You didn't stretch them. And you need to warm them up. So when I do dumbbell curls first, I can probably do 30, 35. I know I can do 30. But uh, I, think I, I think I can do 35. I haven't tried in a while to get that far. I used to like push myself to the max, but then re I read about how you shouldn't do that. Like you shouldn't overdo it. Like just do enough to, where you can feel the strain and feel like, okay, I'm, I'm doing, when, when you start to struggle, when you have to start forcing them out, stop. When you're really starting to like, uh, uh, uh. I heard that's when you should stop and then just keep growing, keep growing, like increase your threshold. Like increase the amount you can do before you start out, you, 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 you need to start forcing them out. But if I force them out, um, yeah, I think, I, I think I'd end at like 35, 37.
I don't know if I'll get all the way to 40, to be real. I don't know if I'll get all the way to 40. But again, it's like proper ones. Chin touch. I used to kiss the floor, but the floor is dirty. I used to do the nose, but then my nose started getting bruised. <laughs> I used to like nose touch the floor, but then like, my nose started hurting. I was like, why is my nose sore? I thought there was something wrong with me. But then I realized, oh, it's the push-ups in the morning. You always, one, two, boom, 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 boom. It adds up and you end up injuring yourself. So I stopped doing that. I didn't want to deform my nose or something. I was good today. I was really... I'm going to keep this. Today, I, I, I was rambling, but I was doing triggers too. Can someone clapping emoji? If, if you're watching, if you watch all the way to the end, please put a clapping emoji to congratulate me. I'm learning. I did well. I did very well. I was rambling, but I was also doing triggers. You know, sometimes I ramble and I forget to do the triggers. And I kept my voice down, I think. Uh, yeah, I didn't raise my voice today. I didn't get excited. I was like, I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna keep that there, I'm gonna keep this here. Yeah, I'll probably put this like here. And then when I need it, I'll put it, put it here. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. <sighs> Don't forget, subs to ASMR, guys. Subs to ASMR. My link, my, my email is in the description. Follow me on Instagram if you want to hear unreleased music and stuff. I've been posting a few unreleased songs on there. And then my poetry book, the link is in the description. It's $1. It's $1, guys. It's $1. It's $1. And you pray and gather your not to pay the whole my videos. Dear Father God, thank you for this individual watching this right now. Thank you for making them whole and unique and guide them on a path towards peace, prosperity, and purpose, purpose, purpose. Thank you for blessing this person with wonderful people in life who love them, take care of them, bring the absolute best out of them. And thank you for maintaining the ones that are there to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person with love, with marriage, and maintaining that love in marriage and making it happy. Thank you for blessing this person with the spirit of gratitude and allowing them to give thanks to all the wonderful things in their life. And by giving thanks, you can find peace, contentment, and attractive and more blessings. Let your presence be found in this person's life so they know that your God, that you real, that you love, and always going to be there for them. Good health, long life, and happiness. So this person, everyone they care about, in my name, I pray in Jesus' name, I pray in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, 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 amen.